Hi, my name is Cameron, also known as Venus Theory, and welcome back to another episode of Mixcraft Quick Tips, the series where we take a look at common questions and helpful tips in Mixcraft to help enhance your workflow and your productions. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at a pretty cool feature inside of Mixcraft you might not know about, which is converting audio to MIDI. As a quick note though, this is only available in Mixcraft Pro Studio. Before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe down below to stay tuned for future quick tips, and if you have a question or a suggestion for a future episode, feel free to leave that down in the comments below. In this video, I wanted to show you a cool way to use the Convert Audio to MIDI function to create drum grooves. This is a really cool trick to add some organic human swing to your drums without the need for complex MIDI programming because we can simply tap something out and then convert that into the drum pattern. I find this is really useful for genres like lo-fi, hip-hop, or other beat-oriented genres that need just a little bit of groove and shuffle to the drums. Here, I've set up a quick loop and it's just missing the drums. Let's take a listen. For my drum sounds here in this session, I've loaded up an Omni sampler with a few quick samples like some hats, a nice rim shot, and a big heavy 808 kick. To begin this process today, we'll make sure that we have an audio track in our project. If you don't have one, you can go up to add track and then insert an audio track. Once you've got that, we can drop this down to select the input device, in my case it's going to be mic input 1 here, and then arm the track for recording. Once you've got this set up, all you need to do is beatbox out your drum patterns or just tap on something, and then we can convert that audio to MIDI. Now, I'm pretty terrible at beatboxing, but I'm just going to tap out some rhythms on my desk here, and then we'll convert that to our drum pattern. So to get things started, we're going to tap out the kick and snare pattern, because we'll do the hi-hat pattern separately. Now that we've got that done, we'll drag it out of the way, go back to the beginning, and record our hi-hat pattern. To make this process work a bit more effectively, we'll just trim off any excess silence at the start and the end of the clips. Once we've done that, we'll click on each clip and hit Ctrl W to mix these down to a new clip. Now, once you're ready, all you need to do is right click on the clip and then select Convert Audio to MIDI. This creates a new instrument track with the MIDI information, and we can simply drag this over to our drum instrument track. If we take a look at the MIDI information here, we'll see that all of these notes are triggering the kick drum, and I know my snare is on the third beat of every bar, so to fix this, we'll just go in and find the note that's on the third beat of every bar, and move it up to trigger the rim shot. Now that we've got that done, we can use Ctrl A to select all the notes, go up to MIDI editing, and then we'll select quantize here. We can set this to 16th notes, and maybe just add a little bit of swing. Next, we'll repeat this process for the hi-hat audio, and then we'll combine these to create the final drum groove. Once again here in the hi-hat clip, you can see all the notes are triggering the kick drum, so we just need to move these up to the hats, maybe just add a little bit of swing once again, and then to finalize this and even out this velocity, we can go to MIDI editing, velocities, and then we can force this to something like 95. Now that we've edited the MIDI clips, we just need to combine them, and this is really easy to do. We'll go over to our kick and snare MIDI here, use Ctrl A and then Ctrl C to highlight them all, and then copy them, then we'll go to the hat pattern here, go back to the very, very beginning of it, and then just paste in our kick and snare pattern. Now that we've got all that done, let's take a listen to the final result. And that does it for this video, so I hope this video was helpful, and as always, thanks for watching.